Hello, this is Mrs. Lewis showing you how to marble paper. Uh, I have shaving cream, uh, a fork. On my lesson plans, it says a toothpick. I don't have a toothpick. So I'm gonna use the end of a paintbrush, uh, anything small-ish, like a pencil tip or uh, the end of a pen, that all will work. Food coloring, I have just standard red, blue, yellow, and green colors, uh, and some paper. A little bit thicker is helpful, but not necessary. Uh, and, you know, if you have thinner paper, it might tear a little bit, but if you're gentle with it, it should be okay. Uh, I also have a tray here to kind of help contain the mess. This is a, a messy project, but it's also pretty magical, I think. Art is pretty magical. Uh, I try to teach that as much, much as possible that you know you can kind of do anything with art and that's the beauty of it. So to start, I've got my shaving cream, uh, really cheap stuff is totally fine. I'm gonna spray kind of a little pile. You don't need a ton, but you do need enough so that you can spread it out and it's as big as your paper. Smaller paper is a little bit easier. Uh, even like index cards is a great size. Uh, if you wanna go bigger, <laughs> that's awesome. Go for it. Uh, it might take a little bit more time. You might have to be a little bit more patient, but it'll turn out pretty amazing. Now with my pile, I'm gonna smear it out into a thinner layer. You don't wanna make it you know, so thin that you can see your tray. If you can see your tray a little bit, that's totally fine. But I'm just gonna smooth it out, flatten it out, squish that shaving cream that's stuck to my fingers. So I have it on there, kinda measure my paper. That's pretty close, good to go. Messy hands. Uh, so then you will have to wash those paper towels. A sink nearby is always uh, very helpful. Alrighty, my hands are washed. Uh, if you wanna go for it and grab the next things that you need with messy hands and clean it up later, I suppose that's a choice you can make. Now I'm gonna grab my food coloring. Um, I would stick to three colors at a maximum because they mix together really well. Uh, I'm gonna stick with two for now. I'm gonna grab red and yellow. If you do have the primary colors, uh, you can mix them together and kind of see what they create. We did color wheels a couple weeks ago. Uh, we always talk about what colors make when you mix them together, especially the primary colors. Uh, so that's just one little extra thing that you can do. Uh, with your food coloring, do not squish the bottle as hard as you possibly can. You're gonna tip it upside down. Squeeze very gently with your thumb and one finger on either side. Don't squeeze with your whole hand. You're gonna make a huge mess. You just want a little dot. And I like to do about four dots of each color. And I can spread them out. If you do this multiple times, you kind of get a hang of where you want your dots to be, how the colors are gonna blend together when you mix them. I'm gonna add my yellow, very lightly squeezing thumb on one side, one finger on the other. There's two, three, and I'm gonna put four right there. Whew. All right, you can do this with a fork. You can do this with a pointy pen or a pencil of some sort. Uh, we'll do a fork first. Mine has four prongs, so it's gonna make it a little bit different of a pattern than if you were using you know, just the end of one thing. Uh, and what you wanna do is just kind of move those colors around. You can swirl, you can go straight lines, uh, but you don't want to mix them together because then you're just gonna have an orange paper rather than our pretty marbling that you can see on this one. So I'm gonna make you know lines that go one way, just gently pulling those colors across. Uh, then I'm gonna make lines that go the other way. You can start to see a little bit orange being made. You don't wanna do too much, keep it simple. Uh, and then I'm gonna go down the other way in a couple of different spots. And it's just kinda however I feel. I can set my fork to the side. You can see a little bit of what your design's gonna look like but you never know until the end, which is very exciting. Take your paper, uh, mine's white on both sides. Pick the white side down and just gently push. 
so that you make sure all that shaving cream and beautiful color get a nice little layer on there and you're going to peel it off. Now that looks really, really cool. Uh, but there is one more step to reveal the beauty. All right, I cleared out my tray. I grabbed some paper towels. Um, you can do this on the tray, on the table, anything. We're just trying to help with the mess. Uh, I have more paper towels. You can see my paper's a little thinner and it's kind of buckling uh, under all of the moisture that it's getting from the shaving cream. Not a big deal. They'll flatten out pretty quick. Or you can stick a book on them to flatten them out, but I'm gonna just use my fingers for now. Take my paper towel and I'm going to wipe off the shaving cream. Uh, you can run your paper under water to get this off if you want. I wouldn't put too much water on there. Uh, you can use a cloth or an old t-shirt or a sock if you don't have paper towels. Don't use your toilet paper. We're all saving up on those. Voila! So you can see where I ran uh, those extra lines through where it kind of mixes together in the back. We've got our red and our yellow that we originally started with, and then orange, which is what our primary colors, red and yellow, mix together to make. All right, we wiped down our tray. Uh, we're ready to go again. We'll use just kind of one pointy thing, whatever you have, toothpick, paintbrush, pencil, uh, this time to see how it turns out differently. So I've got my tray, start off with my shaving cream smooth it out so it's about as big as my paper and then wash your hands all right this time we're going to see if we can't make a cool rainbow pattern i start with my red barely squeeze thumb and one finger but three drops across the top, yellow, we'll try to mix orange in the middle of those. I'm gonna do four across the middle because I'm gonna have my yellow, try to mix with my blue at the bottom as well. So I put a little extra yellow. I'm gonna put one, dot of red on the bottom to see if we can't make purple. We'll see how it goes. All right, with my paintbrush, I'm gonna use the end. Uh, you don't wanna use the top because it's gonna really blend those together. You're gonna get food coloring in your bristles. Uh, but like I said, toothpick, pencil, end of a pen, something kind of pointy should work. This time I'm gonna use some swirls and see if that doesn't get us kind of a different pattern and a different result. Again, you don't want to mix the colors so that it's just solid orange right here, which is what would happen with my red and my yellow. You want to make sure that they stay kind of separated, but have really cool designs on the middle. I'm going to mix my blue and my yellow. Oh, yeah. Add a little more in there so it gets a little more green. I like swirling those. Those kind of look like hearts. It's really cool. Not intentional, but that's all right. It turned out really awesome anyways. I'm going to wipe this off. It's getting pretty messy just so my colors don't blend. You know, my yellow's down here where I'm trying to make my purpley color. We'll see how it goes. Mix a little extra until I see some purple form in there. Oh, I've got some green in there. That's all right. All right. See if I want to do anything else. I think I'm just going to run through all the colors one more time. Get those designs in there, but don't make it one solid color. I'm gonna keep them as designs rather than one blob. All right, we'll see how it goes. Take your paper. Now you can do this multiple times. I'm gonna stick this paper down. Pull it off. We'll see how it goes. Set that to the side. Now they're kind of mixed more because your paper was on there. Uh, I'm gonna go back and take my fork. It's just super experimental, which is the fun of it. I'm gonna run it through again because you can use this same shaving cream and colors multiple times and it will come up with something new. So we'll stick that down. 
Again, just gently push, make sure you get some color on each part of that paper. Peel it off and we'll see how they change. All right, we have our setup again, just paper towels underneath to help with the mess. Move that tray out of the way. I'm gonna hold it as flat as I can and wipe that shaving cream off. Oh, that looks so cool. I gotta get a clean paper towel. Woohoo! Kind of turned out as a rainbow. Red, orangish, yellowish, green. I'm missing blue. There's some blue in there. Purple, kind of. We'll see the other one. We pulled two prints off of this. You can do more. You can see how it changes each time you push paper down and pull it off. I used a fork. Kind of blend those colors in a little bit more. And it's so cool using the same things, how different they turned out. So have fun with this. Definitely wear some messy clothes. Food coloring can stain. Uh, this is just an extra optional project, but it's always pretty amazing. Uh, you can save these, turn them into a collage, cut shapes out of them, uh, write your name across them for something cool to hang on your wall. Totally up to you, but that is how you marble paper.